This is Shepherd in the Key of G by Nathan Singh. And I hope you love how simple this one is. It's so beautiful. As always, you can click on the description of the video below. And I do have the chord sheet that you can grab and print out and follow along. All right, so let's take a look at the four chords in this song. That's it, G, C, D, and our E minor. Okay, so a G chord is made up of G, B, D. Okay, move up here to a C note, and we have a C chord there, C, E, G. Okay, move up one note and pick up this black note in the middle, D, F sharp, A, and we make this triangle shape. Okay, move up one note and we have an E minor, E, G, B. Okay, so review, those four chords are G chord, C chord, D, E minor. All right, left hand is, is really simple. It's just gonna play single notes. Line up your pinky on G and you really don't have to move your hand this whole song so that you're not moving it and losing your place, okay? So G note with G chord, C note with C chord, D to D in the bass. And then if we move up one note, notice my little thumb swing. That's all you have to do. Otherwise, if you go like this, you're gonna move where your hand needs to be. So just keep your pinky kind of hung out with the G and then just swing your E for your E minor, okay? All right, the rhythm that's gonna bring the two hands together kind of sound like this. It's kind of a swing pattern. If we went one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, kind of sounds like a little bit of a waltz. Or you could say together, right together right together right practice that on the c chord c chord d and so on just get that nice marching rhythm but it's going to kind of have that swing to it all right so let me get in some vocals here in verse one and you'll know how it's going to sound when i bring um, in some vocals here okay so i'm going to sing through the first two lines though i walk through the valley and I can't see the way when the shadows surround me I will not be afraid okay anybody notice that same rhythm first I want to note there's going to be this pattern that you're going to see across both verses G D E minor G D E minor G D E minor that's it okay so just memorize that transition from G D minor because you're going to use those three chords in that position or in that um, in that rotation that same way okay so you might have also noticed when I went though I walk through the valley I went right to the D so I went though I walk through the valley and I can't see the way okay that D didn't have like together right they kind of shared that beat, or they shared that, um, they went like bum, bum, instead of, you know, D hanging out with two, okay? So let's look at the third line there. For I know you are with me, you will always provide. You can just carry that out there. Though the path may be lonely, you will stay by my into that pre-chorus where we're just going to go the C and the D. That's it, okay? I will rest my soul. I'll trust in you alone. D chord. Excuse me, D chord there. For the chorus, okay? So you're coming off of that D to the chorus. For the Lord my shepherd. G, 
jump into the bridge just so that you can just see the little bit of different um, the melody changes but the chords don't so the chords are still gonna be G D E minor and C just like our verses okay I'll rest my soul in you alone you light my G going to go through the verse a little bit more just so you can kind of walk through um, that different rhythm. Though I walk through the valley and I can't see the way when the shadows surround me I will not be afraid. That's the only difference in the verses is you're going to kind of go from that G to the quick D. Okay you're just going to kind of block play it beginning to end you can go back to the beginning if you need a little help here we go let's go though I walk through the valley and I can't see the way when the shadows surround me I will not be afraid for I know you trying to hide and your love it pursues me all the days of my life 